Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea. If you didn't know that, now you know. Um, I apologize that this is what I sound like, but <laughs> it's just me. Today, I'm doing my eyebrows. I know what you may be thinking. Why, why would I want, why would I want pointers on how to look bald? But by the end, they will be, actually, let me zoom you in. This is unfortunately what I have to work with. But beggars can't be choosers. No! What you're gonna need is pomade, not powder, not a pencil, pomade. Nothing, nothing, nothing does hair like strokes like pomade. I said it. It, it, it just, nothing else works. Sorry. And this tiny, it's dirty right now, but I'll show you how I am gross and work around that okay this essence super tiny precise eyeliner brush this is a key it, take anything from this tutorial this take this take this from the tutorial <sighs> my pictures keep falling off my wall i'm also going to be using elf black cream eyeliner now if you're like me and you don't clean your brushes every single time you use them sometimes well, not sometimes, most times, your eyebrow brush is just caked in just this yummy, delicious product. That, and it's stiff and just doesn't, it's just not, it's not good. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that without running all the way to the bathroom, washing it, drying it, and it's this. Oil. You can use coconut oil. I have used coconut oil. I'll just take a little scoop but i'm going to use just because it's conveniently on hand right now and i use this in my hair so it, i'm sure it's fine for this brush <laughs> argan oil that's what i'm going to use i'm just going to take it on this paper towel and just do a little spritz and then i'm just gonna oh i probably should have focused this oh well nothing too exciting and i'm just gonna keep going like this not hardcore rubbing back and forth. I like doing it on an angle so that the brush keeps its shape. And I'm just gonna do that until I get most of the product off. <laughs> and then I'll just take some paper towel and kind of like pinch it and make sure to get the oil Ooh, most of the way off. There we go, not the cleanest obviously since it wasn't cleaned but if you're in a hurry that's your best bet because it works and yeah see you can actually see that the bristles are supposed to be purple <laughs> so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take my anastasia dip brow pomade in the shade medium brown which i despise i don't like it it's too warm for my liking I'm just gonna take like a, can you see that? I don't know, a scoop. Put it on the back of my hand. Because, you know, if you know anything about dip brow, they dry up real quick. So you just scoop what you need, close it, be on your way. And then I'm gonna take it on my brush like this. On the side, don't go in at like, like this do flat like to your hand and then kind of rub off excess all right so let's do this eyebrow because it's my better <laughs> eyebrow as you can see there's like i would like there to be more visible hair in this area <laughs> like there's so much hair but you can't see it so i like to make the illusion that you can so I like starting in the front and then working my way back on the bottom. And just do little tiny flicks. You don't wanna to take too much because it'll glob up and be weird when you go to apply it. And then just repeat, just keep swipe and then Taking off the excess a little bit. 
and I like to bring my hair down get rid of my arch basically and I prefer it to be more straight and then arch down from there like I don't raise my arch at all and try to do your best to keep your when you're drawing the hair to keep your brush like away from your face don't be like e wait 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 be like straight go straight on but I mean sometimes you know you can't help it and the hair will just turn out looking thicker but it's fine we're just human we're just trying our best you know all right so that's good for now now on top I'm going to continue following the way my natural hair grows which like <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> Gizzy. I'm not going to be going upwards. It looks more natural if you follow your hair. So now I'm going to do them angled downward. And I like to start over here. All right, and then right here, see how there's kind of like gap right here? Then I will angle the hair to go kind of like crisscross over the other top hair okay now that they're both caught up kind of I like to just look at them and just throw on some hairs here and there where I think that they are needed like I like to make my tail longer, so I'll just draw them on an angle further down. Okay, now once they're kind of, you know, at a nice shape <laughs> that you like, now I'm gonna take some more dip brow just because there's a little bit left on my hand but not really that much and I'm just gonna take a little bit more. Then I'm gonna take the e.l.f. cream liner. Try not to take as much as the Anastasia dip brow. But sometimes you can't control how much you take. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna mix them around on the back of my hand to kinda make darker brown and tone down that warmth because <coughs> and honestly i wish elf made just eyebrow pomade in the same formula as this eyeliner because it's amazing i love it so now i'm just going to take that again still you know flat getting the product and then rubbing off the excess and just throw some darker hairs where i want them which usually ends up being everywhere <laughs> but more so where I fully drew on new hair so towards the ends of my tails and in the front is where I like to mainly do them Okay, can you see the difference between over here and over here, over here, and over here, here, here. Now the other side. All right, now I'll, again, do the same thing. Look at them and just tweak where I want to. All right, so I think I'm liking the shape. Now the final step is just to throw on some brow gel. And the brow gel I use is by Flower. There used to be like a clear thing 
that went over this brush, but it fell off and I lost it, so. <laughs> and it's the shade medium dark, which honestly is pretty light. 10 out of 10 recommend this brow gel because it is the only brow gel I have ever used that actually makes it look like I have hair. <laughs> I'll kind of um, comb the hair forward and push up. All right, then I'll just give it a second to dry. Then I'll apply another coat just because, you know, again, I don't know when to stop. I'll just keep putting some on until I'm satisfied with the way they look. All right. Nice. And that is how I do my eyebrows currently. <laughs> so that is how I achieve my hair like stroke eyebrows. Sometimes they'll be bigger, sometimes they'll be more neater sometimes they'll be just like chelsea that doesn't even look realistic but you know what in the end i tried okay i hope this video helped maybe a little bit i don't know if you take anything from this video go get this brush stop trying to make hair like strokes with a pencil happen it's not gonna happen all right bye Go do some hair like strokes.